Okay, we've done the bulk rise with our bread, and now it's time to uh, do the pre-shaping. So we're going to get to use our dough scraper. So I'm going to flour my surface well. rosemary olive. So now I'm just going to take the uh, scraper and just coax the dough out of the bowl. I like how it feels. It's got a nice heft to it. And it seems to be good at getting the dough out of the bowl and not sticking to it too much. fingers here and I think I'm gonna wet now let's see here let's see how sticky it is just on its own I think it's okay maybe I'll flower it a little bit sticky dough. So I am going to make sure it's well floured before we do our shaping. Same with this thing. Yeah, a little bit sticky. Like I said, the, this dough is fairly sticky, but hopefully our scraper doesn't stick too much as we shape it. kind of kind of stick in a little bit a little bit more than uh, let's say a, other plastic or metal uh, scrapers that I've used so I'll be extra generous with my flour around the surface here it's critical this is a critical point pre-shaping in order to get that initial surface tension of our dough so that the, the top part of the loaf is nice and crusty and crispy. By tucking the dough underneath like this, we're creating that surface tension on the top of the loaf, which again is what we want. Okay, start to behave a little better now. Also, this is the first time I'm using this tool, so a little bit of a learning curve. Pretty good about this, pre-shape. We'll come back in another half hour and do the final shape and put it into our cooking basket. shaping is done. Now it's time for the final shaping and then we'll add it to our proofing basket. So like I said I rinsed this off uh, with kind of like dish soap and water and let it dry out. No more odor. And now I'm going to go ahead and just line the plastic um, proofing basket with it. And it said you can clearly tell there's a seam side and then a non-seam side. So we're supposed to put the seam side down. Do that. Just gonna press down the middle part. Pretty uh, neat little custom stitch thing here. Make sure it's uh, on there properly. All right, that feels pretty good. Looks good. Yeah, I don't like the idea of um, uh, putting the dough directly onto plastic. Although that is one option if you wanted to just oil or flour the, um, uh, the plastic and not use the liner. That's what they indicate in the instructions. All right, so here we go. So normally I shape um, loaves into, into you know, round circles and I proof them in a, 
towel line basket. So this is kind of a new thing, but I watched a couple of videos and I think I found a technique to do a proper sort of oblong shaped loaf. So let's give it a go. And I got my uh, scraper and first thing I'm gonna do is flip the dough over so that the um, top side of the loaf is, is on the bottom. Let's see here. Over, not too bad. Test on my surface again. Move our loaf back to the center here. All right. So here's what she does. She kind of like takes it and does some folds like that. Does some folds like that. Folds like that. Pinches this together. And kind of takes the end here and rolls it up, gets the seam back down, and then pinches off this part. Oh, I don't know if that's going to turn out, but eh, not too bad. Make sure there's no seams showing here. Kind of sticky on my fingers. So while that's getting prepped, I'm gonna still gonna flour my um, the inside of my proofing basket here very well because it's a real pain to get this far in the process and then have your dough stick to the basket. So be generous with your flour here. All right. Next thing I want to do is just put the dough in the basket and I'm going to do it so that the seam side, which is the opposite of the, of the top side of the loaf, is facing up. There we go. All right, it's, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze in there, but that's, I think we pretty much got it. So I'm going to dust the flour on the top here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and um, do a slow uh, proofing in the refrigerator overnight. So it should be ready to bake first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up with the towel and move it to the refrigerator. So that's, that's pretty much it for now. When we bake, we'll go ahead and get a chance to use the lam. Um, now I was looking at the instruction manual and pretty informative. It does say that because of the, the uh, sort of the, the material here, the silicone, that you should be able to just scrape any dough that sticks to your bench right off. To say that works pretty well. Maybe not perfect, but... All right, so I'll continue cleaning up here, and then uh, in the morning, we'll get the lime going and cut our dough and then bake it. Okay, so we've been proofing this overnight, and really quite a nice looking loaf. So now what we want to do is use our lam to score the loaf and then bake it. So I've got a piece of parchment paper because I'm going to use that uh, in the bake. Let's see if we can do this nicely here. Beautiful, didn't, you can see it's not really sticking. That's due to my decent flowering job, although it's a little bit sticky, but all right, so far so good. So we have a nice, beautiful loaf. And now I'm gonna, today I'm gonna use the straight, the straight edge. Just make a, a basic cut in bread. So again, we loaded up our knife, ready to go. And on one cut here. I'm still learning my the art of using the lam, but I'm gonna make a nice clean, fairly deep, maybe 45 degree angle cut. All right, I think that looks good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and bake it and we'll see how it turns out. Here is our beautiful loaf of olive rosemary bread, hot and fresh out of the oven. Nice 
my stump. All right, we got a nice crusty loaf of bread made with the help of our Bread Smart kit. So I was pretty happy with how my loaf turned out using the Bread Smart kit. Um, so I just want, kind of wanted to recap what I think are the pros and cons of this uh, system. Yeah, I utilized uh, most of the pieces of it, the scraper and the lam, and of course the proofing basket. I didn't use uh, the whisk. It's just I don't do that with my style of bread making. But uh, uh, you know, like I said looks pretty good, feels pretty good in my hands. Uh, but I just don't do that for this particular style. So yeah, so let's go over the uh, the pros and cons as I see them. So the first thing uh, I consider a pro is I liked the two-sided lam, which gives you the option of using both a straight and a curved blade to score your dough. I also like the size of the proofing basket. It makes a full, you know, sort of standard one kilogram or two pound loaf. Um, so I am happy about that, how it turned out. I like the fact that the, uh, uh, the liner is made of, of a natural material, cotton, and that it's removable and that it's easy to clean. And the multi-use scraper is cool, a cool uh, multitasker, I always like those. It's got both the straight edge for cutting dough if you need to, as well as the curved edge to uh, easily get dough out of your bowl. And finally, it just, you know, uh, everything together, it, it made a darn good loaf. Now on the con side, some of the things I didn't love about the kit, that the scraper, uh, even though the instructions say it uh, removes dough from your, uh, your surfaces, I found that on my wood uh, surface, it didn't really get everything, every last thing up. I had to ultimately resort to a, a metal uh, blade to do that. Not the end of the world, but just something uh, to note. I didn't like the fact that it's a plastic proofing basket. Most of the, uh, uh, the ones that you can find commercially are made of a natural material like rattan. I'm not sure how that translates to the moisture in the, in the dough. I, it seemed like the dough was a little bit wet, you know, after I uh, put it out of the uh, proofing basket, um, probably because the plastic just didn't let the, that, that moisture wick away. So that's pretty much it. I, uh, I enjoy using the kit and I'm gonna continue using it. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you wanna see other reviews and other uh, techniques and tips on how to do fermentation, check out my other videos um, and go to our website for recipes, tips and tricks, fermentersclub.com. Thanks for watching.